Do you see how happy I am right now? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Did you just lie to me? You lied to the queen? How dare you? Off to the dungeons you go. Hey chopsticks, on the menu today is sweet and sour pork. Now if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Merrick, nice to meet you. I film mukbangs and ASMR, so if you are interested in these types of videos, make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so I have my sweet and sour pork right in front of me, and as you can tell by the title today, I am doing another story time! Yay! Story time, story time! Who's ready for the story time? Go grab a cup of tea, cause we're about to spill it, everyone. Before we get to the story time though, I am so, so, so hungry. Let's eat. Hmm. Who has their chopsticks ready? I got mine. Today I'm using some blue chopsticks. Ooh, which piece should we go for first? Let's do this one. Mm. Okay, you guys know the drill. Open wide, open wide. Got it, got it, slay. Mmm. 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 So good. I'm surprised I've never done a sweet and sour puck pork mukbang on my channel yet. Mm. Like seriously, oops, just dropped the rice. It's seriously one of my favorite foods ever. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, here's a big piece. Open wide. Got it. Slay. Oh, oops. Sorry. Mmm. Mmm. I like to move my body sometimes when I get really happy. Mm. And foodgasms make Merrick happy. Mm. It makes them so happy. Inside the sweet and sour pork, we also have some vegetables. Cause you know, on this channel, you chopsticks, we gotta stay healthy, right? Here's a piece of onion. Mm. Red bell pepper. Mm. Mm. If you've never had sweet and sour pork before, although it looks really, really red and spicy, it's not, there's no spice at all. I think you can get it spicy if you ask the chef, but normally speaking, sweet and sour pork, it's not spicy. So don't be scared off by the redness. Mm. I got this from a, a local Chinese restaurant that I love. Mm. Mm. Oops. I keep dropping rice everywhere today. Mm. I actually have a spoon on the side, but I want to be more Asian and use chopsticks to pick up rice, but apparently I can't. So I might have to resort to the spoon for today's mukbang. Mmm, almost dropped it again. Mm. So, um, what you're seeing right now, all this pork, this is about half of the box. Um, I didn't want to put the entire box on my platter because I don't think I can finish it. I would save, like, I want to save it for my parents when they get home from work. So, this is half of the box, and the entire box cost 15 Canadian dollars, which is roughly $12 US. So, not too, too bad, right? And it's from a restaurant, it's not like from Panda Express or like a fast food restaurant, so the quality is a bit higher. Mm.
Let me get some rice from the front. Because I feel like I'm eating all the rice in the back and no one can even see like the rice coming into my mouth. I mean me picking up the rice. Mmm. <laughs> Oops. Green bell pepper. Mmm. There's also some pineapples up in here. There's a baby pineapple. Mm. Okay, so before we get to the story time, I want to do... You guys should know it by now. I want to do the question of the day. Wait, is it the side? Yeah, it's the side. It's the side. The question of the day. Today's question of the day is, what's something you have done that turned out to be a waste of time? What's something you've done that turned out to be a waste of time? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm very curious to read all your responses. Now, this question of the day isn't some random question that I just came up in my mind or came up in my mind? Is that the expression? Came up in my mind. I think so, maybe. Um, it relates to my story time. Today's title of the story time is called A Waste of Time. Hmm. Man. What I have to tell you guys is so extremely frustrating. God. It shakes me to my core. Hmm. I'm so happy I have this channel because I've only told one other friend this because there's not that many people in my life to share this with. So, I guess in a way, I get to share it with, well, as of right now, almost 35,000 other people in the world. Hmm. Okay. Where should we start? What the story time? Mm. I have some notes on the side to remind me of key points I need to mention. <laughs> okay, so this story time starts off with me job hunting. I'm like looking for new positions, new opportunities online. And I find two postings that I really like from the same organization. And they're roughly like the same type of gig. They're the same role. And they had two different openings. On the job posting, it says one of the requirements is I need a certain type of check or certificate. Basically, like I need this certificate for the position. And what I did is I apply to both positions without the certificate because usually their certificate, I don't want to say what certificate it is, but I just want to say that it's very, very common. Like, I think almost like most like jobs or like most employees have to get the certificate. It's kind of like, like I would equate it to first aid or CPR if you work in the medical field or the health field, like it's pretty common. So um, most people, most employers I know, like most people I talk to that have gotten the certificate, the employer requests you to get it after you get the job. Did that make any sense? So basically, um, say so you get the job, the employer is like, oh, like, uh, as mentioned in the job posting, you need this certificate. Do, I, do you have it yet? And the successful interviewee might be like, no, I didn't get it yet. And they'll be like, well, um, I'm going to offer you the job. If you do accept it, you need to go get the certificate. That's usually how it goes, right? Mm-mm-mm. Not in my case. So I spent like three hours on my application. I'm not sure if that's a lot, not a lot. Back in uni university, sorry, I'm like, I like choked there. Back in university, I know some people spent like 
two, three, four days on one single job application. Some people spent like five minutes literally just clicking upload, typing your name, address, phone number, email, and submitting it. Hmm. So I'm not sure if three hours is a lot or not. But anyhow, I submit my um, application for the two job postings. A week goes by and I get a call from the coordinator, like the HR lady. And she asked me, do you have this certificate? And what I was expecting was for them to ask me in the interview if I have the certificate or not. So I tell her, no, but I'll go get it. Like when I said, I'll go get it, I kind of meant like, if I get the job, then like, I'll go get it type of thing. What she tells me is, before the hiring managers even look at your application, they need to see that you have the certificate. So before they even like open your file, they check if you have the certificate or not. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll go get it then. So I go get it because like I actually want the job, you know? <laughs> mm. And the place where I go get it from, their operation hours are like 9 to 4. So, if someone had like a full-time job with like a 9 to 5 shift, like uh, most office jobs, I don't get how they'll be able to go get the certificate. Because like most office jobs, they work like 9 to 5, right? Monday to Friday. And this, this place opens 9 to 5 or 9 to 4, Monday to Friday. So it's like, they could never go get it unless like, they lie and say they were sick. Maybe like take a uh, take a day off without pay or something. I don't know. So basically people who have jobs already who want to switch fields or switch companies, they're not able to. Anyhow, I luck out because that day um, I was available. So I go to this place to go get the certificate. And the place was so far away from my place. It was like a half an hour drive, one way, so one hour round trip. Mm. So I get to this place and the entire process takes like 30 minutes, not that bad, right? 30 minutes to get the certificate done, to get this check done. Mm. And of course, nothing is free in life, honey. Oh no, nothing is free. The certificate slash check costed me $70. $70, I know. Ugh, bummer. But hey, I want to get the job, so you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Gotta hustle in life. Because that's what society teaches you. You gotta work hard for things you want. Hmm. So, sorry, that's a really good piece. It was like the fatty pork. Hmm. So I send in my certificate to the HR lady and she's like, thank you very much. Um, we'll be contacting you in roughly three to five business days regarding the status of your application. And I'm like, great. A week goes by and I hear nothing, right? So I'm like, um, you said three to five business days. It's been like seven business days. What's up with that lady? Did you just lie to me? You lied to the queen? How dare you? Off to the dungeons you go. 
but uh, what I do, because I'm a proactive person, I'm a leader, I take initiative in life, I go on the website where I found the job posting, I checked the job board to find the job posting, and guess what? It's not there anymore. Um, what? Did you just reject me without even telling me? Rude. Rude much. So rude. The job posting disappeared. So I'm just guessing that someone got the job or like they decided not to hire someone. I, I'm like so confused. But anyhow, with one of the job postings, I just didn't get it. No worries, right? No worries. Because again, I applied to two postings, two openings. So I have... I guess at this point, all my eggs in one basket. <laughs> okay. Mm. Sorry, I dropped the pork. Sorry for that clanging sound. Mm. Another week goes by, and I actually get a call this time. Wow. It actually surprised me, because they're the same organization, right? So I'm like, oh, if they're not going to give me a call for, like, the first opening, I'm sure they won't give me a call for the second one. Nope. They gave me a call about the second position, and basically, I didn't get it. I didn't even land an interview. <sighs> What's worse? What's worse? not getting a call and just being ghosted by the company or getting a call and just telling you, hey, you suck, you're not getting the job. I don't know. I don't know. But this is the part where I'm frustrated with, okay? Hmm. I felt like the entire process was such a waste of time. Let me explain. I spent three hours writing this application. And let's just say that, um, let's just like come up with a random rate, like $20 an hour. $20 an hour times three hours is $60. Next, we got the certificate fee, which was $70. Then we got the driving time there, the driving time back, the waiting time for the certificate. So like I said, to get there, it was a half an hour. To get back was another half an hour, and the entire wait waiting time for the certificate was a half an hour. So 1.5 hours times $20 hour, twenty an hour, sorry, burp there. Um, 1.5 hours times $20 an hour is $30 plus gas, wear and tear, maintenance on my vehicle expenses. Let's just say that's $5. In total, I spent $165 applying to this position that I did not get. Do you see how happy I am right now? <laughs> no, I want to strangle someone so badly when I got that rejection call. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. And when I say when I got that rejection call, I mean like five hours ago. So I'm still pretty upset about this whole thing. And hey, I get that. Um, not every job you apply to, you get it. That's totally like a valid argument, a valid perspective. Say there's like 50 applicants in one position, obviously. Oops, sorry, my chopstick was rolling off my plate. Obviously, you can't. Oh, sorry. Sorry again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I keep saying sorry. Mm. What I was saying was I totally understand that not every position you apply to, you get totally valid, right? Valid perspective, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. Mary gets it. What I don't get is when the employer makes you get a certificate or like a check or like something that costs a fair amount of money before you get 
the position because let's just say that like my time, my the time I spent on my application, the three hours is not worth anything. The time I spent driving to go get the certificate is not worth anything. Let's just say that gas is not worth anything that you can drive for free in the world. Let's just assume all that is free. Let's just focus on the $70 that it cost um, me to get the certificate. Let's say that there's 21 people applying to this position, okay? 21 people who applies to this position and only one of them will get it. Only one will get it. Okay, I really gotta start using my spoon for the rice because <laughs> I'm making a mess everywhere. <gasps> mm. So, using this method, the employer's method, if the employer requires you to get the check, the certificate, whatever, before he even looks at your application, that means that 20 out of the 21 people will be spending $70 for nothing. 20 out of the 21 people will be spending $70 for nothing. 70 times 20 is $1,400. $1,400 down the drain. Oh no, guys. Does that make any sense to you? Because it sure doesn't make any sense to me. Mmm. I have more rice than pork today. <laughs> I should have just like plated the entire box, eh? Do you want to hear my method? How I would handle things? Instead of making applicants get the certificate before you look at their application or invite them to an interview, what I would do, what most employers would do, is ask them to get it afterwards so only the person you're planning to hire has to spend $70 or whatever amount of dollars to get the certificate because at that point, they know they have the job so they'll make that $70 back in wages. It doesn't just go down the toilet, you know what I mean? And most likely, since they get like since they're offered the job already, they're going to want to spend however like amount of money it is to like get this certificate because they want to like actually work in the job. I don't know. That's just how my brain works. I'm still salty about the situation. <laughs> Because mm. some people tell me they apply to like a hundred jobs. If this happens all the time, you're gonna go broke. You can't afford to apply if you had to like spend seventy dollars for each job application. Hmm. 
I don't know, you guys. What do I do? You know what I did? I'm so cheap. I even contacted the HR lady. And guess what I asked for? I sent her the receipt of the certificate fee and I asked her for a reimbursement of the certificate. Cause I was like, well, if it wasn't for this job posting, I wouldn't be spending $70 to get this certificate that does nothing for me. I would be spending $70 on a new camera, a new lens, something for YouTube, getting food, I don't know. Of course, I didn't say it like that. I wasn't like, because of your job posting, now I'm sending dollars out. I was just like, oh, well, um, do you guys have a reimbursement policy at your company for applicants? And of course, she said no. So, like, what do I do now? Hmm. Not only was this whole experience a waste of time, but it was also a waste of money. Waste of time and waste of money. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Alrighty, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed, if you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. Love you chopsticks and remember to slay your day.